Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and I have breaking news for my viewers and subscribers. This news just came in. I'll provide you with a link to all of our resources in the description section below like we always do. The General Service Administration, the GSA, has formally informed Joe Biden that the Trump administration is ready to begin the formal transition process according to a letter from the GSA administrator Emily Murphy that was sent today, that was sent this afternoon to Joe Biden. So now it is official that the Trump administration is starting the transition to President-elect Joe Biden. Now this letter is the first step the Trump administration is taking to acknowledge the results of the election and Murphy said, Emily Murphy said she has not been pressured she had not been pressured by the White House to delay the formal transition process and did not make a decision, I quote, out of fear or favoritism. So this is what Emily Murphy said. I'm quoting her. Please know that I came to my decision independently based on the law and available facts. I was never directly or indirectly pressured by any executive branch official, including those who work at the White House or GSA, with regard to the substance or timing of my decision. To be clear, I did not receive any direction, uh, any direction to delay my determination. So this letter is essentially the sign-off from Emily Murphy from the GSA to essentially signify Biden's victory, which is, this is a process known as ascertain, ascertainment. So this move will allow the transition to formally begin. This will allow current administration agency officials to coordinate with the incoming Biden administration, providing government funding to be able to help with the transition and Keep in mind the Biden team has, you know, they haven't been just sitting around waiting for the transition. Biden has announced several cabinet member picks uh, today. In fact, I did cover in my previous video Biden's selection of Janet Yellen to be the next U.S. Treasury Secretary. I'm going to refer to her as a stimulus giver and you'll see why if you watch that other video that we released on our channel just prior to this video. But basically up until this point, because of the delay in ascertainment, up until this point, because remember it's been a few weeks since the election, Biden's team was locked out from government data, could not make contact with federal agencies, nor could it spend $6.3 million in government funding Now that has now been made available for the transition. So Biden officials said that the most urgent need was to be given access to the COVID data and the vaccine data. Now, the executive director of Biden's transition, Johannes Abraham, said that the start of the transition was, I quote, a needed step to begin tackling the challenges facing our nation, including getting the pandemic under control and our economy back on track. Abraham also said the final decision is a definitive administrative action to formally begin the transition process with federal agencies. In the days ahead, transition officials will begin meeting with federal officials to discuss the pandemic response, have a full accounting of our national security interests and gain complete understanding of the Trump administration's efforts to to hollow out government agencies. In other words, basically, you know, making sure that the new administration does what they need to do. So this ascertainment letter was actually sent today to Joe Biden after Michigan formally certified uh, its election results. This actually happened earlier in the day and I did cover that on our channel as well and many, many other uh, lawsuits by the president were actually dismissed. I have done another video where I've talked about the lawsuits by the Trump administration that have been dismissed across the country so you can feel free to check them out. Georgia certified its presidential uh, results on Friday and Pennsylvania is expected to certify their presidential uh, election results very quickly. So I want our viewers and subscribers to understand what's going on. I've also done detailed training videos on our channel in the past 24 to 48 hours talking about what's going on with the president's legal team, the fact that a legal, member of the legal team was let go. I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, more of a shakeup in the legal team. Uh, I'm going to report it as and when it happens and I'll also report what's happening in court. So this is what's happening. This is This essentially signifies a formal transition. And like I said, the Biden team said that the transition is, I quote, a definitive action. The letter from the GSA administrator is a definitive action to begin transition. And basically, Basically, this is, uh, and I'm going to quote that again, this final decision is a definitive administration action to formally begin the transition process with federal agencies. So this is very interesting. I will, I will provide you with a link to the actual GSA letter that was sent to Biden. So you can actually read that letter to yourself. That letter, like I said, was actually sent today. And uh, the letter basically says, 
um, you know, um, and I'm going to read the, the one of the important aspects of this letter. Section 7 of the Act and Public Law 116-159 dated October 1st, 2020, which provides continuing appropriations until December 11th, makes $6.3 million available to you to carry out the provisions of Section 3 of the Act. In addition, uh, $1 million is authorized pursuant to public law to provide appointee orientation sessions and a transition directory. I remind you that Section 6 of the Act imposes reporting requirements on you as a condition for receiving services and funds from GSA. If you need any assistance, please contact us. And it was signed by Emily Murphy and uh, the U.S. General Services Administration. And it was uh, sent to uh, a, a number of individuals, including the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. By the way, this means that officials from the administration will start coordinating, assisting, cooperating, I, I say will, I, I guess I should say should, will, should, uh, should start cooperating, assisting, coordinating with the Biden team to make sure that the transition begins. Because when, uh, when President-elect Biden comes to the White House after he's inaugurated formally on the 20th of January, at that point in time, the Biden team will need to, you know, will need to occupy certain positions, will need to make sure they have access to all of the things that were done in the past four years, including most importantly, the COVID data, because uh, what is going to happen in the next few months is I, we're going to have a surge. We are having a surge. We're, we're expected to have more economic problems. It doesn't matter that the stock market's up. That only affects the richest amongst us. What matters is that the most vulnerable, the ones among us who are in travel, leisure, entertainment, hospitality, the ones who are on long-term unemployment, the ones who've lost our jobs permanently, they are the ones who need the most amount of help. But this is an encouraging thing. I will provide you in the description section below the link to the to the GSA letter that was sent to Biden. I will provide you with the original announcement and I'll provide you with the response of the Biden spokesperson so you can read it for yourself. Now, regardless of what happens, I want our viewers and subscribers to understand that regardless of what happens with the election challenges, regardless of the the, the, you know, the, the problems that exist, regardless of the division that exists in our country, a formal transition process is something that many Republican senators pushed for, many business leaders pushed for, and now it has, now it has finally begun. The lack of a transition could have delayed the ability for us to deal with the virus. In fact, Joe Biden said it could cost lives. And it's very clear that this could have posed security vulnerabilities, security challenges for our country. So whatever is happening is supposed to happen. Now, as far as the election challenges go, whatever is reported by courts, I'll be happy to report it here. Uh, my goal is to provide you with the actual news. You know, uh, look, guys, for me, it's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American. And the news that exists right now is just intense. It's like trying to drink water from a fire hose. It's divisive. Let's try and stay calm. My goal is to present you with the rational news, the true news. I would love to be able to provide you with good news all the time. I would love to be able to provide you with, you know, only good things all the time. But, you know, we live in a climate where there are some good things and some not so good things. And I have enough faith in you to know that you can handle the truth wherever, wherever that might lead us. The Ignition Time channel is about country. It's about the economy. It's about money. I know you can handle the truth. And my goal is to lead you forward, is to help you become financially successful. Because when we understand how the country is working and when we understand how our economy is working in response to problems facing the country, the pandemic, the election, the, the entire economic crisis, then we can learn to manage and grow our own money. Because managing and growing our own money is all about learning how to make money, how to save money, how to invest money, which is something I cover on my channel. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream and I want to help you live your American dream. If you don't know anything about me, check out my introductory video on our channel. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me. I really, really, really appreciate you watching. Once again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. Uh, please take a moment of your time to click the like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. That would mean a lot to me. I would really appreciate that. That's all I ask from you because me, you know, I work hard all day to be able to provide our community with important information. This is my way of giving back to a country that I love. I'm, 
you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I feel lucky as an American and I know all of us feel lucky too. And we're all patriots. We're all Americans first before we are Democrats, before we are Republicans. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.